Good evening everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Avocado Insider series. It's your host Harshit Godha. In this episode, we continue our discussion with Nedafem Israel and we talk about irrigation in avocado orchards. This is going to be a long video, so sit tight and watch it till the end because it's one of the most important topics in avocado farming. And uh, if you have any questions about uh, commercial avocado farming, then uh, post your questions in the comment section down below and I'll answer those questions or if I don't know the answer, I'll ask Netafem Israel those questions and create a separate video about it. Now let's go to our subject, irrigation. Irrigation. Why to irrigate avocado? You said in the beginning that you, you didn't uh, irrigate and you get uh, very nice uh, growth. So first of all, as I understand your trees, you started from seeds and this is the problem. When you grow just seeds, usually develop very quick, but the flowering, the yield and the quality uh, can be a problem. So irrigation gives you a quicker development of the trees and the seedlings. Uh, avocado is very stress sensitive. Water stress induced fruit and leaf drop. And of course, because of that, uh, reduce the yield when you don't irrigate. Uh, irrigation will give higher yield and improve the fruit size. You can see in the right picture what happens that the seed coat is dead and the seed and then the fruit is dropping. Another uh, uh, thing that you see that then um, what we call the ring neck that, that make the tree falls uh, from, from the tree. If we are looking on the root this, uh, distribution uh, around and in the depth close to the tree, we can see that most of the roots are in the upper part. 87% of the roots are in the 20 centimeters depth. Uh, this means that we need something to irrigate, uh, it's that the avocado has very shallow roots and we need to get there with the water and the fertilizers. This is just uh, to show what happens in a heavy soil, the water are going to the side, while in the light soil, the water are going deeper. Also, if we irrigate with a lower flow, we'll get a better irrigation that will get the water to, uh, to the sides and uh, it can get better to the, to the root zones. So special, special challenges in avocado irrigation. As we said in the beginning that, uh, that most of the roots are in the upper 20 centimeters. It has a high water requirement. It's very sensitive to water stress, but it's inefficient in extracting moisture from the soil. It's very sensitive to overwatering, very important fact that you have to be careful with that. The food roots have a high oxygen requirement. Water stress induce leaf and fruit drop. Now we get into your main question, uh, irrigation, how much? So uh, I won't get to any uh, part here, but you will get this uh, picture. Uh, we divide the stages of the avocado growth to a different uh, phenological uh, stages, like you can see the flowering, uh, the fruitlet uh, growth, fruit growth, uh, uh, and in the end for, to the harvest. And every time we use different KC, I hope you know what is KC. And according to that, we irrigate different amount according to the evaporation and the KC. And we irrigate different uh, amount of water. Um, Okay, that's it. About a young plant, we, we give to the different uh, stages of the tree from the beginning that it starts. This is a, by liter per tree per day. 
So you can see in the beginning we give eight liters and then it grow uh, slowly to, to 10, 15 and 20 liter in the first year. The fertilizer that we give to the young trees is also uh, per tree. And you can see it's like five gram of nitrogen, uh, two gram of uh, PTO5 and uh, five gram of K. Um, of course, you don't have to, to, to fertilize every day, but at least every few days when you're using it for the fertigation, you should do it with every irrigation. Uh, it changed from year to year and it's going, sorry, it's going from a year to year, the water amount and the fertilizer. Um, take notice that uh, we wrote here, put, sorry. Uh, that we, we wrote here cool or hot. So if you have hotter temperature, you need to irrigate a bit more than we wrote here. But the idea is to give per plant. And I'll show you how you calculate it when, when you take, when you clog or how you improve it when you clog between the trees. What the irrig irrigation method that we recommend use two uh, drip line, two to three drip lines per row, like you can see in the picture, half a meter between uh, a dripper spacing, flow rate should be between 0 0.7 to 2.3 liter per hour, depend on your, the quality of your water. You can use Uniram or DripNet. Ring plug in the first years that you can see here, and we'll talk about it later. You can see the roots of the avocado in this picture uh, when you irrigate with a drip line and the root develop very nicely. Uh, we use the Uniram, which is a pressure co compensated uh, dripper. It's continual self flushing, which is very important. It keep it uh, clean. Uh, it's anti-siphon uh, mechanism. Um, and deliver precise and equal amount of water and assure 100% uniformity of water and nutrient distribution along the lateral. This is a very important factor in the orchards. Also, DripNet PC can be used, but because you're planting for a long time, you can, it's better to use Uniram, uh, to use very good drip line because you're holding it for 15 years or something like that and you want it to to work all the years and to keep it in a good shape uh, this was it's, it's a bit early but the idea is um, to use a fertigation machine i leave the the indian company to speak about it later but We'll speak about in the, in a few slides uh, about the importance of uh, use fertigation all around the year and not to do pro uh, podcast by uh, by hands because the best way is to have fertigation all around the year. Uh, the drip irrigation also under avocado tree there's an, a natural mulch. You can see that the leaves are falling and covering the drip, not in the first year, but after a few years. When you move the leaves to the side, you can see that very nice roots are developing under the drip lines and under the, the natural mulch. And when you use drip, it's very good to, to do that and, uh, to, um, and give very good condition for the root to develop. Now, in the first years, we cover the, the, we clog the drippers between the trees by using this uh, clogging uh, ring. And you can see here that close to the tree, we irrigate and here we are clogging the drippers. And you don't, you see my uh, mouse, by the way? Yeah. Okay. And uh, we clog in, so we irrigate only close to the tree. This is the best way. If not, uh, you need to calculate in the first year that this water are not effective. 
When you do that, you also you don't waste water and fertilizer, and um, and you don't grow get weeds in this area. So it's important to clog this in the first years, and after that to open because the root after about in the second year they're already getting to between the trees. So you can see here the first year with the clogging. And uh, in the second year, you can put the second uh, drip line. Again, block drippers between trees. Sometimes people think about micro sprinklers, only it's a uh, demand more maintenance, it uh, wets the trunk of the tree and can cause disease, it uh, needs more water to penetrate the leaf mulch, as, as I explained before. It, it uh, brings more weeds and my, um, actually we think it's better to use drip line and uh, not micro, sp micro sprinklers. It will be much more effective. In the next video with uh, NetFM Israel, we are going to talk about fertigation in avocado. So subscribe to my channel and whenever uh, it gets uploaded, you'll automatically get notified. Thank you for watching.